Hello and welcome back. So today we are not going to be doing a scandal, mystery or conspiracy about the English, Scottish or British monarchy. Today it is going to be all about a scandal from the French monarchy. King Philip IV of France had four children. He had three sons called Louis, Philip and Charles and a daughter called Isabella. Now, as was the custom in the ruling classes at the time, Philip married his children off for political gain. Louis married Margaret, the daughter of Robert II, Duke of Burgundy in 1305. Philip married Joan, the daughter of Otto IV, Count of Burgundy in 1307. And then Charles, married Blanche, another daughter of Otto IV in 1308. Isabella married Edward II, King of England in 1308 as well. So all of these marriages fared differently. Louis and Margaret's marriage was really unhappy with the headstrong prince preferring to play real tennis than spending any time with his feisty and shapely wife. Charles was really a straight-laced sort of person and he had an, an exceptional marriage. And I'm sure you already know what happened in Isabella and Edward's marriage. It was only really Philip and Joan's marriage that was a happy one with Philip writing many love letters to his wife over the years. So in 1313, King Edward and Queen Isabella had visited Isabella's father in France. And while there, Isabella had given a gift of an embroidered purse to each of her sister-in-laws. Back in England later that year, Isabella and Edward had a party. And at this party, Isabella noticed that these two Norman knights, Gautier and Philip of Arnay, were both carrying these purses that looked a lot like the ones that she had given to her sister-in-law. So Isabella was suspicious of this and she thought that maybe these knights and her sister-in-laws were actually having an affair. So she told her father what she thought. So King Philip placed these two Norman knights under surveillance and he found that Margaret and Blanche had both been eating and drinking and committing adultery with Gautier and Philip in a tower that guarded the Paris wall called the Tour de Nail. At first, Joan was said to have only known what was going on, but later she was actually accused of her adultery herself. So after Philip's surveillance of the knights ended, he announced publicly what he had found and all involved were arrested. It has been suggested that Gautier and Philip had tried to escape to England, but they were captured and tortured by the French authorities. They both confessed to the affairs and of course they were both found guilty. Blanche and Margaret were both found guilty in front of the Paris Parliament and they had their heads shaved and sentenced to imprisonment. Joan was tried before the Paris Parliament but thanks to her husband she was found not guilty. As their punishment, the knights were obviously killed. Most historians agree that they were first castrated and then they were either drawn and quartered or flayed alive, broken on a wheel and then hung. But what was the fallout of this for the French monarchy? Margaret and Louis' marriage could not be an old because there was a gap between 1314 and 1316 where there was no pope. So Margaret was imprisoned in an underground cell in the Chateau Gilliard. Lou became king in 1314 when his father died, so that means that Margaret actually became queen. But tragically, Margaret died in 1315. Or was she murdered? So after Margaret died, Louis married again to Clementina of Hungary. Now she became pregnant, but Louis ended up dying before the baby was born. Now Louis did actually have a child with Margaret, a daughter called Joan. So when Louis died, there were supporters of Joan to become queen. But because of her mother's affair, many people felt that they could not trust whether Joan was Louis's actual biological child. And this was the argument that Philip used to argue for him to become regent of the country while Clementina was still pregnant just to see if they had a baby boy. So Clementina did have a baby boy, a boy called John, but tragically he died basically shortly after he was born. So then Philip became King of France. Now all this time Philip's wife Joan was uh, under house arrest, but with um, Philip's 
influence she was able to join again in court life and they ended up living happily ever after until their deaths so the way that philip was able to say that he could become the next king and not joan was through salic law so salic law was the ancient frankish civil law code that was compiled in about 500 a.d by the frankish king clovis so salic law sort of obviously governed all of the civil law and one of the things that it done was inheritance. Now the French monarchy had never had to really worry about inheritance before because it had just been continuous um, father to son, father to son, like all the way down until it got to 1315. So with this interpretation of the Salic law it's basically said that the throne could not pass to a female nor could it pass down through a female line. So if the king had a son and a daughter and the son died before he did, the throne could not pass to the daughter. It would have to be passed to an uncle or a nephew or whoever, whoever was the next non-broken male line. But also it could not pass to say an, the nephew, the son of his daughter. So he could not go daughter and then son. They couldn't do that. There had to be like no women involved anywhere in this line of succession. But by you doing this interpretation Philip actually barred his children from inheriting the throne because he only had daughters so when Philip died his brother Charles inherited the throne. Now Charles's wife Blanche this whole time had been, okay, been kept in prison but when Charles became king he refused to release Blanche and instead he annulled their marriage and he sent her to live in a nunnery. Immediately after he had sent Blanche to the nunnery, Charles mar married again to Maria of Luxembourg. Blanche ended up dying the next year. So that was the Tour de Nau affair, a scandal that rocked the French monarchy. And it really, I don't know if it changed the succession or it really it cemented what the su succession to the French throne would be because the affairs that had really damaged the reputation of the women of the French court and the men felt that they could not trust the women. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!